Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all the support so far with the channel. Today, I have a beautiful Korean friend named Juju. She's here and we create another look for you. It is all about sculpted contour highlight using all neutral shades. I love it and you can use the same concept, same technique, just you would color if you find a color too flat for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, share the video, and don't forget to follow both Chu Chu and I on Instagram as well. Thank you. For every makeup, I always want to start prepping the skin first. I know it doesn't make sense to a lot of people why I start applying the lip balm too early, but I usually apply the lip balm first, let it sit while I'm working on the makeup, then I apply the lip balm again before I use my lipstick. This serum I'm using is for both eyes and face. I think it's amazing, just two step in one, if you want to use something that combines for the whole face. Take a little time and work on the moisturizing the skin as always. My hand is really big and it looks like I'm very harsh on the face, but I'm actually very gentle. It just appears like that. The foundation I'm using today is a cushion foundation from Clay de Pot. It comes with a pad like this, so if you use yourself, you can use the pad. But because I use on the model, so I took some out already and I use my sponge. Cushion foundation is very, very popular in Asia. I don't think it's very popular in North America at all, but I think it's such a beautiful formulation. It's seamless on the skin and I love it. And the coverage really well. I just pat it on the same way that you're gonna use the sponge that comes with the cushion. They give you really good coverage and still very natural looking. Cushion foundation it is great if you use for personal use, but it's, I think it's harder to use for professional because it's better to apply directly from the pad that they give you. And if you're a professional makeup artist, you have to dip it out and I find that it's not the same. The concealer I'm using is a stick concealer, also from Clay de Pot. It's definitely one of my favorite concealer. They are in the higher price point, but it does last you a long time if you invest on it. And I'm using a little bit under the eye, around the nose, and around the mouth. Did you have like literally perfect complexions? I don't think she need much at all. I'm using a smaller sponge and just blend the concealer out. You can use the same sponge that you use from the foundation if you don't want to waste another sponge. I make sure they all blend it out. The look I'm doing is very sculpted, so I'm gonna contour to two face a little bit just to make her look a tiny bit more angular. I'm just applying a little bronzing cream and then I'm just gonna blend it out.
and make sure the face is really well blended unless you're aesthetic and you want to see really defined contour but for me even I want to do very sculpted look I still want everything to blend together I don't like every harsh line where the cheek and the jaw for me it's not very attractive so I always blend it together for this look I want the skin pretty matte I'm just gonna powder the t-zone around the nose the chin look up for me under the eye and then later on after everything I might powder them a little more for eyebrow two two eyebrow pretty straight naturally but I think I'm gonna give her a little arch what I'm gonna do I'm use two different color I'm use the soft brown pencil first from the inner part and then I'm going to use a medium brow on the outer part for the inner part I use the pencil and go against the natural growth of the hair and I know the eyebrow might look pretty dark after I do it but because we haven't had any eye or makeup or anything, once everything together, I think it look very beautiful. And now I use the medium brow pencil just for the outer part. I just make it a little more arch. everything should be very soft-handed because that way the eyebrow will look very soft as well I think when you draw so harsh on the skin it will give you really harsh line and you can use a spoolie just brush the hair and back and forth and check the shape and do the same on the other eyebrow for the very front you can also use a little marker to create some individual hair this way the brow look a lot softer it doesn't look too harsh or defined the very front there I also gonna prime the eye with a little long way eyeshadow to do the eyeshadow I want to create a little depth on the lash line so what I'm gonna do I'm just use like a taupey color pencil and just do a thick line all along the lash line This one is not a long wear pencil, so you do have time to blend them. If you do use a long wear pencil, make sure you blend really fast because once they set, you can't really blend anymore. and 2-2 two, two eye shape they don't really have like a heavy crease right here so I think it's nicer to do a lot of depth on the lash line and fade the shadow out and I think it's important to step back and look see how much darker you want and how much depth so for me I just look back I want a little more depth on the lash line and the outer corner so that's why I just add more pencil and again blend it out I'm doing the same on the other side it's gonna be a little tricky to me when I do makeup on one side for the balance but for you always just step back and look the shape on each side 
using the same pencil, I'm doing the smoky part on the lower lash line as well. You can see I just add in and then I use the smudging brush and just blend it out. Another trick on Asian eye, because the way our eye shape a little hooded, so I usually keep a little more depth in the corner of the eye here. And you can see more than what I would normally do. And I blend it out because once we look up, you still see some of the shadow there. Using the same pencil color, you can do a little bit on the waterline. I wouldn't want to use a darker color. I know sometimes it's nice, but for the eyes a little smaller, I try to avoid it because sometimes it does close the eye even more. For the eyeshadow, I'm going to use this color right here, right here, and right here. The first color I'm going to use is to create a lot of depth on the lash line. And the second color, just to you to blend it out. And the third color, just along on the very the brow bone. Same way, on the lower lash line, I'm going to use this color just to blend everything out. And then this one, just a little on the corner of the eye. I'm using the same blending brush that I used with a pencil earlier to apply the darkest color. I just press the color in and blend it out. I usually do my base first because I have a hard time to do the eye first and foundation after. But if you feel more comfortable, do the eye first, the foundation after, you can. But for me, I might have a little fall up. I just clean it off after. For the second color, I'm using the bigger brush. Close your eye. And I just basically blend out the edges and just apply a little more shadow on the higher part of the crease. You can use the finger, just blend it out a little more. me same brush I do a little bit on the lower lash line using the same brush or you can use a different one use a third color just a little bit on the brow bone area so the whole idea is I'm trying to do this graduation from dark to light that's how you're gonna do it you don't have to use the same brush you can use a different color but I think because the whole idea to blend everything together, it's okay to have a little leftover shadow from the previous color. And I use the same color, just a little bit on the corner of the eye here as well. And blend everything out. And I know you might have to clean up this part or you can put the little concealer again after. What I'm doing now is I use a little concealer just to clean up a little bit and cover on the eye circle there. Always curl the lashes before mascara. I decide to do a little strip lash on tutu, but a pretty very natural one. So I'm going to do it off camera and I come right back. I do fall lashes off the camera. I might do a tutorial how to do the lashes, but I think it just saves us a lot of time just see me how to do it. I just do off camera. And after that, I apply a few coated mascara on top of that to blend her natural lashes together with strip of the lash. And I also gonna put just one coat on the lower lashes. To complete the eyebrow, I use this new brow wax from Fenty. So basically, you just use the wax part and you just draw it on the eyebrow like this. And then you use the comb, you just brush it up. I think this look a lot less complicated than some of the brow product out there. 
same thing on the other side. So as you can see, the eye is complete. It's the same concept. You don't have to use the same exactly shades what I'm using. You can use more softer shade. The whole idea of this makeup look, I'm doing very sculpted, all just neutral tone, taupey color. And that's why I'm using this color. But the same technique for smoky eye on Asian eye, you can use the same way with different color. For contour highlight, I'm using the Contour Highlight Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I am use this shade just to scope her features. And then the highlight part, I am use on the cheekbones, a little on the nose, and all the high point. You can tell the model to whistle, and you just keep them a little sculpted on the cheekbone. Same way on the other side. So basically her cheekbone right here, I do right below that. That's exactly where you should do. And same brush, same palette. I do a little bit around the hairline. A little bit around the jaw. I might do a little bit, just very little around the nose as well. Just to make everything very sculpted. It's not that you do need anything, but I think it's the whole idea, the whole concept. I'm just showing you so you can apply the same idea to different face shape, but use your judgment of how much sculpting you're gonna do. Usually I would use the same color of the bronzer as the blush, but I think for this look, I'm going to give a little color just on the apple of the cheek right here. Give a little life back to the skin because all the color I've been using is very, very neutral and muted. So I think this would be a nice touch in it. Same brush that I use for the blush. They have another side. And then I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury highlight. I'm adding a little bit on the cheekbone, a little bit on the nose, keep it pull. For the lip, I'm going to use the same liner that I use on the eye. These liners are from Makeup Forever. They are for both eye and lips. They have multiple colors. You can try them out. I use the same color. I'm doing the outer liner of the lips a little darker and I'm go with more a nude lips color I think would give her a nice sultry look and what I'm gonna do right now is I just draw the shape of the lip first from the outer and I use lip brush and I blend it out a little bit before I apply the lipstick Using the clean lip brush, I think this is a concealer brush, but I use for lip anyway. You just blend it out the edge a little bit first before you apply the lipstick. You apply the lipstick. And I usually just pat it on like this so you get a bit more pigment of the lipstick. I'm gonna powder again, just under the eye, forehead, around the nose, and the chin. To complete the look, I'm gonna finish her face with a little bit of the setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. So guys, that's the final look. You can use the same concept, but using colors. The whole idea I'm doing, just sculpted 
an all neutral tone and I think it looks incredible on Juju.